Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Kerbal Space Program. So, just got a decent amount of science from our first orbiter and, well, I mean, I lost a bunch of science because I was going a bit too fast, I guess, and also the game, I don't know. It seems like the crash physics is sometimes a bit wonky as well, but whatever. I could have been going slower, I suppose. And I actually really want to make a space plane. As you can see, though, making a space, a space, a space plane right now is a bit difficult because we have a, basically just have a. It's I like how it says have a long flat surface to reach takeoff. Although this is not a flat surface at all. If you have played this game, it is very bumpy because it's literally just like this crappy dirt runway, and the beginning takeoff wheels that you get really don't handle those bumps all that well. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know why I was going there. Let's see. I guess first I'll find... Okay, there's these observational things we can do. I want to find the ones that are below. Yeah, like this one, it says below 17,500 17, meters. So this would be the best thing we could do for a space plane. So yeah, I could try that. Although actually, that's the only one right now that we can really do. Huh. This stuff gives us much more money, though. Does that is that science? I think, I think that must be science. I think I mentioned that you don't get science from these missions, but I think you do. I'm not quite sure what that is. I think that's science because it's blue, and science is obviously blue there. Hmm. Well, first I've got this thing. Although it doesn't give us that much money. Although we'd have to pay if I decide to cancel it as well. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to cancel it. Yeah, we lose a bit of money, and I think we got a bit of disrespect from it as well. But I don't really think that's something I wanted to do. Which, admittedly, I shouldn't have accepted it in the first place then. But heat shield might be a bit difficult. And this, activate the part through the staging sequence when all test conditions are met. Oh, and we've got this, actually. So we've got people that actually want to reach orbits already. So that'll that actually doesn't give us much money. Actually, yeah, for this kind of mission, that's very little money. I mean, think about that. Only twelve thousand dollars. That would basically cover the cost of the rocket, and that's it. So I don't really think I want to do that at all. But yeah, you know what? I think I I really like I said I really do want to make a space plane actually. And I mean, this might not be that much money right here, but. I might as well just make a space plane because it's something different anyways. And I really do like space... I don't know. The thing that... Personally, I find making space planes more interesting than the rockets. Because, like, honestly, with rockets, it's just, like, you know, just stack a bunch of things on top of each other and then light it all on fire and go to space. You know, it's... I don't know. It doesn't require as much thought, and I don't think it looks as cool or feels as cool because basically you're just going straight into space and then you're orbiting a lot of the time. And I feel like the planes are a bit cooler because you just feel a bit more, I guess, in control of the action. So, yeah, let's just start a stupid little space plane. I say stupid because at, at, very, at the beginning parts you get for the space planes, they are kind of dinky little things and they're not necessarily the most cool or fun looking. And I did make a really... I made a plane all by myself. Yes, I, that saying that makes it sound like I'm proud of myself. But I made one that actually flew really well because it seems like with these beginning parts, it's hard to get a plane that doesn't have its like landing wheels snack, snap off as soon as you try taking off. So I'm going to sort of do the design if I, as I can remember it that I made when I was playing on my own because I thought it looked pretty cool for the most part. So I'm going to try to do that. I guess I'll put these here. And what I did was something... That was a bit strange, but once I, like, okay, first I remember when I was trying to make my own plane. Okay, I don't want those angled. I remember I just tried doing it, like, with these wings, and it did not, like, help at all. And I did something that actually really helped, because I'm like, oh, I need more lifting area, I think. So here's what I did. I made, I basically combined those two wings. And it actually, I don't know, I think it looks kind of cool. I mean, it looks kind of messed up, but at the same time, I think it looks kind of cool as well. I just, I, just, I just need to try to make sure I think that they're blended together fine because yeah that looks a lot more better I think than it was before. A lot more better. Good English. Then I'll do that there. I guess. I think those are, I don't know. I don't know if it matters if these are at an angle. I'm, I feel like 
it doesn't, because I think that's kind of like what fighter jets sort of have, is they usually have these at an angle, sort of. So yeah, there's that. And I would put this here, but I notice this tends to add more weight than I need, and it also tends to cause um, the, the plane to lean backwards, especially with how you know small the planes are now. Something like this is a bit excessive, I think. So I'll actually just put a nose cone on the back. Come on. There we go. Oh, and I need to actually make sure I... Yeah, this is it's a bit finicky trying to place the stuff I've noticed in this mode. I guess I'll put that there, because why not? Put some elevons on as well. <laughs> and I know I'm, I'm not doing the engines, which is probably one of the first things you should try to figure out is where you want to put the engines. Because oftentimes where you put everything else is sort of influenced by where your engines are, but whatever. I'll do it the unconventional way, because why not? And I am just sort of going through memory, because I did like this design. It actually worked quite well. I know, that doesn't look like it should work well. This looks really messed up, but... I mean, if it if I remember correctly, it, it worked quite well. And I kind of needed... Well... Actually, first we need the fuel tanks. And this is probably going to make some people angry, but you know what, like I said, I kind of just want to screw around in this game. I'm not necessarily going after making the most efficient and perfect things possible. Yes, I'm doing that. This almost looks like something that is like out of Star Wars, but not quite. So yeah, I'm doing that, and then I'll do aerodynamics, and we need, we need air intakes for these because that's how... I guess jet engines work. Although it's weird how the air intake is in front of the fuel. Is that how these engines actually work? I feel like, I don't know, it seems weird that the fuel tank, that would be in front of the fuel tank because, I don't know. I don't I don't know how engines like this work, but I'm just saying it. I feel like having the fuel pod immediately behind this would kind of make it useless, but I don't know. I feel like this fuel for most things like this is usually stored inside. And we'll probably actually empty this completely, but I'll see. I think I did empty this completely when I made this myself, but yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if this is like a copy of something someone else did, but I actually did sort of just do this on my own. Maybe I was remembering some plane that I saw someone else make a long time ago. But this does actually work very well, and it looks pretty neat at the same time. So yeah, now we need wheels, I suppose. Wait, do we not have wheels? Okay, we do. I was just clicking on the wrong thing. And we have pretty crappy landing wheels to begin with. Well, for one, they tend to they tend to not be the most durable in the world. Also, I hate these rotation things. Oh, I think that's going backwards. I guess it shouldn't be a problem, though. I mean, I think it should still work. Guess we'll find out. And actually, I remember I did this too. Because these, I noticed, tend to break under stress very, very, very easily. So having two of them, I think, distributes the weight a bit better. And yes, I am not completely stupid. I do pay attention to this a bit. And yeah, as you can see, our center of, of um, lift is above our center of mass, which is not what you want in a plane because then it causes it to flip over. So I need to figure out how I exactly did this. Oops. In order to get it like I had. Okay, that's a little better, but not quite not quite how I want it. Um, I wonder if I empty this. Okay, that helps a bit, but it's still the center of lift is still a bit above and I think you all, you actually want it a bit behind the center of mass typically. Oh, I guess if I do make these go a bit further back, that'll help. Actually, wait, I think if I perhaps make these go a bit further, that helps as well. Actually, oh, I think what I, okay, now I remember. I think I did, I don't think I used winglets, I used this. Yeah, I was wondering why I had to make this so far back. There we go, that adds our center of lift a bit further back. Okay, that's not how I want that. That's not how I want that. That does not look right. There. Oh, wait, is that how I had it anyways? Hmm. This isn't quite how I remember building it, but... Huh. 
<laughs> I mean, I guess I'll try this out. You know what? I mean, the, I don't think the center of lift should be that should be ahead of the center of mass at all. But you know what? Let's just go for it. Actually, I'll make this a little further back as well. Whatever. Um. Come on. Let me let me enter the thing. Okay, messed. Oh, plane. Yeah, that's that's creative, isn't it? But actually, you know what? Here's something a bit more creative. Disaster. I did I spell that right? I don't know. Doesn't matter. So here. Here's this thing. This very messed up thing. Let's see if we can take off. I'm a bit doubtful, but I guess I'll find out very quickly. And it looks like we don't have any fuel, but that's because I emptied this thing. And these engines are actually extremely efficient. Oh, I should turn SAS on. Come on. Oh my. And it just blew up. Yeah, the the, gear, the landing gears blew up. I've noticed the gears, the landing gears you get right away are really crappy. Like they cannot take any stress barely. So yeah, let's revert that. <laughs> yeah, I'm especially going to be reverting when it comes to space planes because they tend to be a bit harder to get working how you want them to. I've noticed. Actually, I wonder if I do that if that does anything. Um, yeah, that's not quite how I want that still. Seems weird. I swear this is exactly how I made my plane the last time, but it doesn't seem to be working quite as well as it did. Yeah, like, I cannot get that center of lift behind that center of mass, which I, I know that makes sense with the way I'm placing all this junk. Makes sense that it's not working. I guess if I place that farther back, it'll help. I just need to get it cool. Just need to get it at the very edge. Now it's like spot on. Oh, but it's flat though. I don't want flat. I want curved. No, quit doing this to me, game. Whatever. Let's see here. I think maybe if I move this a bit forward, it'll take the stress off of these. That might take enough stress off, and actually, I wonder. I wonder if even doing this might make it a bit better, because that does look like that's the way it's supposed to go. Huh? Let's let's just see here. Let's try again. Let's try out the disaster once again. <laughs> and actually, you know what? Well, let me just throttle a bit. I'm gonna try something here. Because I've always wondered this, and I guess we'll find out now. I always thought that this place honestly looked flatter than the damn field itself. So I want to see, if I try taking off from the field itself, I wonder if I'm going to have a better chance of taking off than I would from in the actual uh, landing strip or whatever. Let's see. Forgot SAS again. Come on. I cannot get that lift. And it... Ha! <laughs> the landing gears blew up, and immediately after that, it did take off. Okay. I think I need to make the center of lift a bit further back, which is strange, because, like I said, I, I swear this looks exactly like I made it the last time, but it's just not working. And that's the thing with these space planes in this game, I've noticed, is they're just so finicky. Like, if you try to replicate something someone else does, it sometimes never works. Or if you try to sometimes even replicate something you did yourself, it also doesn't always work. It's just the way this game goes. I mean, I guess I can go even crazier and try making this really further back. Yeah, like this is looking really crazy now. Okay, I've only got one wing. That's a problem. What the hell? It doesn't want to orient the way I want it to. 
guess that might work. Oh yeah, this didn't... The, the symmetry got turned off on that. There. Okay, now the center of lift is behind the center of mass, so that might be good now. And I've noticed especially you really have to f sort of screw around with the landing gears to get them, or yeah, the landing gears to get them the exact perfect way. And actually, I wonder, I, I was thinking those might be backwards, so I wonder if I just try to replace it, if maybe it'll... Yeah, I think these were backwards, so it actually might help to do this. I might want to maybe move them up a bit. I think they were a bit backwards before. Let's try that. And actually, yeah, I'm gonna just try one wheel. I don't, I don't I think it, I think it'll work worse. I mean, admittedly, we've just crashed lately, so I don't know how much worse it can work, but I'll try just one, and maybe it'll work better. Because yeah, this worked flawlessly when I did it on my own. And why is the center of lift? Oh, yeah. Guess I should fix that first as well. <laughs> Might be a good idea. Yeah, there we go. The center of lift is behind the center of mass now, so I think, hopefully, we'll get takeoff. Yeah, you, you might be saying this is overkill with the engines, but these engines are kind of puny, I've noticed. These beginning jet engines. And we really do need as much thrust as we can get in order to generate some lift. And yeah, more overstressing of the wheels. Yeah, honestly, at this point, it's honestly just, I think, up to... S yeah, I think that broke much quicker, so I do think having two, as odd as it looks, I think that actually might be more effective. And I don't know which way these are technically supposed to face. I guess maybe that way, because I think that might be more lifting. I don't know. I'll see. Yeah, right now, I'm really just going to have to do a lot of the picky stuff just to make sure that this can work. <laughs> okay. Try number three. And you might say, oh, just upgrade the landing strip. And there we go, take off. See, it, was, it really was just screwing around with stuff until I finally got it working the exact way I wanted it to. So there we go, a space plane. And all, it really ha all I really had to do was slightly move around the wings and the landing gears, and now I'm fine for the most part. I say that, but I'm hoping I can replicate this. <laughs> and yeah, this ship can go... Or, I shouldn't say ship, because it's not a ship. This plane can go quite fast. I've noticed... Yeah, I noticed the one thing I liked about it was it was quite maneuverable. I think it's because of all these different... Elevons, as well as having this, and just the fact that I've got so much lift, I think it makes it pretty easy to maneuver. So here we go. Yeah, I was actually kind of proud of myself when I made this, because I made it, it actually works like my second try, and normally when I try space planes, okay, that's no good. Normally when I try space planes, getting it to work the first try is very impressive, at least in my opinion. And I mean, I have... Actually, one person I used to watch who played this game quite a bit was uh, Jeff Major, I think, or 1F one, one Jeff or something like that. Okay, I actually got this under control. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, 1F Jeff, and I, I think he basically spent, like, entire episodes just tr struggling to get planes to work. Although, at the same time, I don't even think he understood or was aware of the fact, like, the, the stuff with center of mass and center of lift, so... You also need to actually know some things about, like, the physics in the game, and I guess just physics in real life, because I think that holds true in real life. I think you normally want, like, your center of lift on a plane to be behind the center of mass, for the most part, or at least on the dot. So, yeah, this game, I guess, does kind of understand a bit of a understanding of, like, engineering and physics a little. I mean, you don't need to, but it definitely helps. It makes having to go through just trial and error a bit less of a requirement. Oh man. Got the engines. Yeah, it definitely spins out a bit if I try turning too much. We might crash here. Although actually I think we got it under control and we're sort of just gliding now. Okay, the one thing I should say, I'm really terrible at landing. Just so we all know. Like, I'm atrocious at landing. And it doesn't help, like I said, with these beginning landing gears. They're not really... They're not exactly able to handle much weight. 
Because I remember trying to make, like, an actual, like, a plane that actually looked like a plane. Because this doesn't look like a plane, does it? It's just kind of a bunch of stuff mishmashed onto a small fuselage. And I actually tried making, you know, like, a real long plane to begin with. And it's like, the, the landing gears literally just failed immediately. Like, there was no chance. So, yeah. I think next episode... I don't know, either I'll do these contracts off-screen for, like, the observation thing. I, th I think I'll at least show one, but I think this has been a long enough episode, so I'm just going to end it here. And kamikaze, so thank you all for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>